Okay, here's another smart family. We just completed. So this family is a venturi flowmeter groove N, and this one is a valve. So this valve flowmeter, we have already here the catalog. Okay, this one from Giron Engineering, Model G Fire Pump Test meters okay so we have here the catalog here so this one is the group n so i'm going to use this one so this is now the model okay so this is the table on how to select the sizing based on the pump uh, gpm capacity and then also depends also on the minimum and maximum meter range so as you can see here in the table we have already for that pump gpm of 2000 this is the the valve size that we're going to select and this is the model so all this one we should convert this one into lookup table to be able to and get all the data and associate to the Revit family parameters. So this one. So I already converted this one. So I'll just show you that this from this table to the Revit family. So we're going to edit the family now. So this is now the actual Revit family with all the sizing calculations Okay, so this one. So we already import the lookup table inside. And from here, of course, you have to set the formula to be able to uh, get all the relevant sizing based on the GPM range. So this is the valve capacity, a pump capacity. So the pump capacity will only range from 100 to 5,000. So this is the indicator that the user, Revit user, will see that it's only for this valve, it has only 100 to 5,000 range pump capacity. And then this is the input. So the user will input here the pump capacity. Okay, and then this family will suggest to you what will be the sizing based on the pump capacity okay so this is the suggested size in diameter so it's already associated with the lookup table so when you select this one automatic it will suggest to you the sizing based on the input uh, valve uh, sorry pump capacity okay so we have also here the model name so when you select the correct pump capacity and then you select the sizing so let's say the sizing is 200 to 250 millimeter then it will suggest to you the model name for that one so literally we converted the lookup at uh, the the specs tab table from the manufacturer converted into the revit all the uh, parameters so it it will be much easier to select here. So no, no need to open again the, the specs table for that one because we already translate that from PDF table to the Revit table with formulas here. So I'll show you now the actual process of uh, using this um, valve, four meter valve, okay? So we'll close this one, okay? And then go back to the project, this one. So we have now this one. So let's say your pump capacity in GPM is 2,000 or 2,500. When you select that one, apply. So 2,500, the suggested size will be 200 to 250. So as you can see, the DN here is already out of range. 
it's 300 millimeter. So just why you, you select to lower it to 200 to 250. So let's say we select 200. So it will now go in the correct size and then the model name also is already mentioned here. Okay, so that's how this family is like the smart family. Okay, it will suggest to you the sizing based on the input that you key in here. So the input here will be the input pump GPM and then the suggested size. So the end. This one. If I change this one to 250, it will change also the model name here. See, it's changed. So I, it, it's updated also. So, so that's for the family alone. But this family is added value with the metric and imperial system, meaning that this family will read the discrepancy of decimal points from the imperial and the metric system, meaning inches to millimeter. So if you convert the project is from uh, inches, then you change the unit to millimeter. Some of those pipes or most of the pipe sizing will have decimal points because there's no perfect uh, when you convert the imperial and metric system. So that's why this family already loaded with that um, how you call this process to read the imperial and metric system so let's say for this family now it's 250 okay oh let's change this one to 200 so for 200 we have the imperial and metric system here so we have 203.2 and then 200 here so if I select this family first, I go first with the, the metric system, the millimeter. So when I click it, so it's perfect. And then if I click also here at the imperial, it's still perfect, this one. See, it will read the metric and the imperial system. So let's say for this one, I select it to the higher size, 250. It will still see uh, place correctly, but the sizing now is wrong. Two fifty. Ah, uh, yeah, it's still sorry, still correct based on the input pump capacity. Okay, but if I go to three hundred, I think three hundred is out of range already. It's still you see, it's like a little odd because it's much smaller, so meaning that it is already wrong. So the sizing range for this flow meter valve is 200 millimeter up to 250 only. If you place this one to 300, then you know it really is, this one is wrong. So you need to search again another type of flow meter with a higher range. Okay, so I'll just delete this one. So yeah. So that's the advantage of this family. It will read the metric and imperial system. And then also it will suggest to you the sizing range based on the input GPM. So let's say we try to change this one to we max max out the sizing range here. So let's say 5,000 for the capacity of 5,000 GPM, the sizing suggested size range will be 250 to 300. So let's say you want to change this one to 300. Now the model name, watch the model name, it will give you the correct model name, apply. So this is now the model name for the 300. So again, if I have already this family with uh, metric and pearl system loaded already to, I will just create similar and then click to the metric and then click to the imperial. So it's no problem. It will not create the uh, pipe accessory transition here. Okay. So yeah, that's it for now. 
any question okay thank you